Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm a chiropractor. Welcome to Health and Care. You are with you 24 seven. You can go to a healthcare provider and you can get care from them two, three, four, five times a week, and that's a good thing. But when you can find something to help yourself every day and you don't have to even leave your home, there's gold right there. There is a future there. There's dancing at your grandkids' wedding, right? So I found a traction device recently that really intrigued me. And I do a lot of traction in my office and I have people get traction devices for their home, but I found a great one. And when I find something this good, I'm excited. So I called the inventor, Dr. Jeff Fisher. He is a professor at Southern California University of Health Sciences. He's an entrepreneur. He's an inventor, and he has a great, successful chiropractic practice. I'm thrilled to have Jeff with us today. Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Hey, Dr. Phils. Thank you so much for having me on. I totally appreciate it. All right. My joy. So a lot of us have some concept of what traction is, but mm -hmm. um, why don't you just tell us what is traction of the spine? Well, it's a process, and it's been around for eons, and it is literally, right? Hippocrates. Exactly, exactly. And it's it's a process of stretching the spine in the opposite direction of gravity. So it's literally just lifting pressure off of all the pain sensitive structures we have in our spine, especially our discs, that gives discs life long term, helps prevent degeneration. But the coolest thing about traction that you know, I have learned over the years now is that traction can actually create a negative like suction inside the disc if it's done properly uh, with enough force and the proper angles. And that negative intradiscal pressure, which we call in my device, we call it the negative G-force technology because we're literally trying to mimic that reversal of gravity. It literally just stretches the spine, pulls it apart, helps the discs pull back in and take pressure off the of nerves. It's, it's a very, very therapeutic, successful thing you can do in the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. I, th I think you're right. I think, you know, gravity um, can be our, a great friend or it can be a great enemy, yeah. right? Yeah. If, me if mechanics are off, uh, the spinal curves change, uh, there's pressure on the disc and the, the disc, and, and you know this, but a lot of people don't know this is, is the disc doesn't have a good blood supply after the age of 12. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. why grandma is much shorter than she was when she was right. five. Right. Right. And, right. Right. And so, and it's coming from those discs usually. Right. Yeah. yeah. Totally is. Totally is. And then you know, there's supporting I, structures that are getting mashed down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is there, is there, um, what got you into traction? Wow. So I don't know if you can see <laughs> my scar here. I've got a, yeah, I got a, I got a <laughs> large scar here from surgery and I have a big scar on the back of my neck. I've had three surgeries on my neck. Oh boy. I was a, I was a horrible, slow football player. So <laughs> that was not a good combo. It's not a good combo. Mm -hmm. So I, I had I had some pretty massive injuries to my neck, and this is before we had you know, MRIs on every corner. And you know, I thought we had a, I thought I had a disc herniation, and I for sure did. But I literally I was playing softball with a bunch of buddies, and I dove for a ball in the outfield, which I caught. Okay, but after I caught it, I rolled and I hurt my neck, and I was in agony. And, I, and of course, I had my office. Mm. I tried everything I could in my office. The only thing, because I, I was getting adjusted, which helped, you know, temporarily. But the only thing that really helped me was traction. So I'd go home, and I didn't have any traction. So then I thought, oh my god, I need to fix this. Mm -hmm. So I just started tinkering at my house, and I started using, you know, the bungees that you take and you you hold down stuff in the back of your car, holding coolers down in the back of your car. I hooked those up on, on the railing on our upstairs and a towel and instantly no pain. Oh. I literally, I fell asleep for honest to God for the first time, like in days, my wife just put a blanket over me and let me sleep in the hall all night. It was the only <laughs> night I could sleep. So I thought, you know what? I got to start working on this. And, you know, I had to go through my process. I had to have surgery, all those different things, but I never forgot 
how successful that was. And I thought, you know what? My patients have, you know, similar problems, you know, hopefully not as severe as mine, but they need stuff at home too, which nothing existed. So I created Fisher Traction, like it, like the going or the saying goes, you know, the father or mother of invention is necessity and I needed it and people needed it and I knew the value of it. And I thought, you know what? I got to make this. Right. So I, you know. So um, what a wonderful story. And so much of our success comes out of our, our injuries, even as chiropractors. You know, we learn yeah. how a lot of my videos, right? I was a competitive mountain biker. Boom. This, the shoulder mm -hmm. happened. And here I am, have the shoulder videos, etc. cetera. And um, so we have actual studies on this also. So what, what, just to give people a little update here is, is, is you, you know, discs can compress. And mm -hmm. what happens when they compress, they push something called in the middle part called the nucleus back mm -hmm. into nerves or back into the spinal cord. And that's called a herniated disc. The, the outer mm -hmm. part of the disc frays or cracks and the inner part comes and pushes through. And yeah. right. And that, and that outer part doesn't have a blood supply. And if it doesn't have a blood supply, it can't actually heal itself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It has yeah, trouble. Exactly. So when there's a pulling apart of the disc, you're drawing fluid in to the disc. And do we have some studies on that? Some histological studies? Yeah, on you know what? Just as you're saying, I just remember I have right next to me. Nice. Right here. I've got this, which Lift, mimics. Lift it up a little higher. You know, there you uh, go. It mimics. How about there this right? See right there? How that, oh, I that see that. Disc, yeah, and it's look what it's doing. It's pushing right on the nerve. Oh, interesting. You know, which that is going to cause a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, and dysfunction in the motion of the spine. Right. So, so that jelly-filled part of the donut comes out and hits the nerve, and boom, you got pain, mm -hmm. numbness, or tingling, or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So then you're drawing fluid in, and um, and the then and the matrix is actually now this one we we know we have studies now on on disc herniation and facet syndrome. Facet, if 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 you all think about this, the back of the spine has two connection points from one vertebra to the next. And that's called the facet joints, those joints right in there, right? In the front, there's one connection point and that's the disc. So three yeah. connection points between each vertebra. And they're all there's possibilities for attrition and problems in both. So if you see the, 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 the joints are in the back of the spine. So if we have pain arching back, we're gonna, mm -hmm. it's more facet. If we have pain bending forward, it's more disc, right? If there's, there are exceptions, but that's pretty close to it, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So tractioning is gonna draw fluid into those discs, right? Yeah, yeah, so that, that you know, like, like you said, that we don't have a direct blood supply to the disc and the only way disc can absorb or gain water is by loading and unloading, which is called imbibition. It's just a fancy word of basically taking a sponge and squeezing the sponge and then lifting the sponge and the sponge absorbs water in inward and and the, the the properties inside the disc is ba basically the same thing that's inside a, a baby diaper so in the disc it's a they're called prostaglandins but in, in a baby diaper i don't know what they're called i can't remember <laughs> it's a gel that can absorb i think like 200 to 300 times its weight in water in the human body are prostaglandins and that matrix matrix that is in there can absorb up to three times its body weight in water and the only way to get it in is going through that process of loading and unloading and as you know and 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 as astronauts know that when you're in an unweighted non-gravity environment your your disc is able to absorb and hold more water and that's why astronaut suits are made about an inch taller uh uh, uh so they're a lot inch taller before they take off and by the time they land their heads Touching, touching the top of their helmet because all of that hydration that goes in the disc. So, so that, that water. So wait a minute. So, up. so when an astronaut goes up into space, yeah, they actually get taller. They get taller. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I went down to, uh, 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 down in Florida to the, the launch center down there and I walked through with my kids and they showed the suits and they actually had the science right there on a plaque. And I read it to my son, who hopefully someday is going to be a chiropractor. Right. And I told him, I said, look, this is like traction. This is like chiropractic. This is what we do. He's like, oh, my God, that's amazing. You know, 
So it's just, but it's, but it's, it's, they've known it since, you know, I don't know, the first Gemini guys that went up there, they came back and they're like, oh, my suit doesn't fit anymore. What the heck's happening? And they realized you got taller because the, the hydration of your discs. Oh, so awesome. like at night, it, when you sleep at night, you're, when you wake up in the morning, you're the tallest that you're going to be when you wake up in the morning. It's because your discs were able to rehydrate and absorb water th- you know, throughout the night because it's in a resting phase. Mm-hmm. So traction mm-hmm. kind of helps accelerate that process. And if people do that more, they're going to rehydrate their discs more and their discs are going to be healthier. Right. It's really important to, to like, as, at, as important it is to get adjusted, it's important to do traction too. Right. So let's say you are getting adjusted or let's say, let's say your spine is locked up. Right. Yeah, yeah. And you're tractioning. You you might maybe maybe one of the facets is locked up. So you're tractioning, you're just pulling on one that is already open, right? It's like pulling on a yeah. locked door. So yeah, yeah. doing things like muscle work, like chiropractic um, mm-hmm. adjustments, these types of things will unlock the door and then you can open it and drive that fluid in, yeah. drive it in. Yeah, hundred percent. So, you know, that's why traction and chiropractic go hand in hand because chiropractic works on the function of the spine you're structurally changing the function you're enhancing the function of the spine making it better so it moves better and and by itself you know it it works great but traction by itself couldn't do everything unless you unlock those subluxations you unlock those fixations and the and the poor function of the spine right you still be leaning to one side and only tractioning one so when you unlock both sides then you know traction can work better so they work hand in hand. They do. And what's interesting is the studies on on these traction devices, which is which is great. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's something called the Vax D, which you, you go to you get a, at a chiropractor's office or somebody's office. And they have studies where they're 71 percent of the of people who did it were improved. Their yeah. pain scales were on a zero to five and 71 percent went down to a zero or a one. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. But yeah. now add chiropractic, now add uh, oh, stabiliz- yeah. st- core stabilization, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and you've got yourself this winning combination. Um, 100%. Yeah. So it's like if I loosen and loosen and loosen and loosen, but but I don't have a strong armor around the whole thing to protect yeah. the center of the yeah. whole deal. You know, if, if, I, if, I, if I push on this arm and I, I can dislocate that elbow, right? But if I strengthen that, the, yeah. the surrounding yeah. musculature, that elbow is protected. And it's the yeah. same thing. We struck, we strengthen the glutes, the obliques, the abs, yeah. the psoas, right? And now we have a, a an armor, basically. So I had hundred percent, right? 100%. So, uh, do my core videos and get some traction. Yeah, That's yeah, great, right, great right. Um, right, right. So, so we know we we decrease pressure in the disc because <clears throat> there were some studies with with what is called transducers that went in yeah. put into the disc. Yeah. I don't know who these volunteers were, but I got lost. <laughs> well, some of them, some of them after they, the guys that originally went in and came out, the guys behind them in line dropped out of the study because they said it, <laughs> it hurt so bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Thank you for whew. donating your yeah. body to science. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> So what happened? So so this these are some of the things that not only from your own bungee cord experiment, but you started looking and de- delving into the science and um, and seeing that there's some changes there. Um, there isn't always. Not every study has changes, uh, which yeah. is interesting. Sometimes you get a herniated disc, and you get a traction group and a and a placebo group, and both groups do do better. And sometimes the herniation is better. Sometimes it is worse. But I, that, that, that study with you, with what you're saying is right afterwards, right after traction, we know they're taller. Um, yeah. And what I'm finding in my office, and I do, I do spinal decompression with uh, vibration mm-hmm. on the pedamon decompression table mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. 40 hertz of vibration, which is supposedly the hertz yeah. of the disc. And, and I'm finding people in their late 60s that yeah. are measured, they're going to their doctors and their doctors saying, you're five eighths of an inch taller, <laughs> yeah. right? Not just right after my traction, yeah. but they haven't come yeah. into my office for, you know, <clears throat> and it's, it's a real thrill. So you're seeing overall yeah. height awesome. increases. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It is. yeah. So, so there's, yeah, some you're, you're, yeah, you're, 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 you're defying gravity. You're defying yeah. gravity. Yes. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Totally>. Totally. <laughs> so, um, as you know, and I'm going to explain to the people here, 
is when you have an arch in your low back, right? That, that lordotic curve. We were talking about that earlier. You, you don't have the curve, you put more pressure on the disc. You have too much of a curve, you put pressure on the joints in the back. But um, we need that curve. Um, in the neck, we need the curve because your, your, your spinal cord is on the inner part of the curve. And if we lose that curve, that cord can stretch five to seven centimeters, right? Yeah, it'll right. pull cranial nerves, the base of the brain. It'll pull mm-hmm. um, all the way down to the sacral plexus, you know, and, and, and cause leg pain, et cetera. Oh, yeah. so, so, how, so one of the things that, you know, the, these, that, these different traction devices, one of the things that scares me is that normal traction, typical traction pulls mm-hmm. just straight up and we can actually yeah. straighten a lordotic curve. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Not a problem. Good. So yeah, what we do, you know, as corrective chiropractors, we end up doing traction and then we'll have, have them get on fulcrums to pi- try and put that curve yeah. back. Have you done any x-rays with people in your traction device or do, have you done any measurements or do you, can you tell if people have a curve in their neck or their low back when they're in your traction? I, I haven't, but what, we, what we've done is we've taken like well, how patients lay on our table because I have it set up in my physical therapy bay and from the side view, you know, so basically you know, if you can see me from yeah. the side yeah. view, we'll see them laying in their appropriate curve where Ooh, nice. no curve in the neck and we'll take images, you know, just picture images of it. So the, 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 the whole science behind how I, you know, I, I think my baby's perfect, my, my traction unit, I but, love but I took science to create, and I literally experimented on it for many, many years to make sure it was right because I am all about restoring the normal curve. God was a genius when he made our bodies. Mm-hmm. He created those curves for a reason and they have to be there or we're gonna have failure. That's like, you know, tech neck and computer work. It's we're losing the curves. But if you look at my, my traction, the way it's set up, it's at about a 30 degree angle. And I base that on the normal residential doorknob, which is about 36 inches from the ground. So I created the length of my strap long enough so we could maintain that 30 degree angle, which gives the greatest amount of benefit for traction because it's in its normal natural curve. And there are studies that have shown that if you maintain normal curve during traction, there are greater benefits for the lumbar spine and also the cervical spine. So we did the same thing with my lumbar unit. The patients would lay down and we could see their their arch in their back was maintained. I thought, okay, I got it. I got it. It's perfect. Where, like you said, a lot of many, many, many traction units are out there. They're, honestly, they're dangerous long term because they're forcing your head forward into that tech neck. You know, most people are like this on their cell phones all the time or they're on their computer typing which you automatically are losing your 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 curve. The the traction units that are out there literally force your head forward or they pull it straight, which from a chiropractic and you know a biomechanical standpoint is not right. It's gonna cause problems, you know, years down the road. It's gonna it's literally gonna promote degeneration. Absolutely. I'm with you hundred percent on that. A lot of people, they'll get on those things where they put their legs in them and then they hang yeah. completely yeah. upside down. And yeah. I want to just talk on this one for a second, because what happens is, is you, your body fights back and those muscles contract. Uh, yeah. We, yeah. When you're in a state of traction, you want to go a little lighter because mm-hmm. you want your muscles to be able to relax, mm-hmm. to get mm-hmm. into the core of the disc, to open yeah. that disc up. Right. Yeah. Whereas in completely inverting it's a no-no, right? No, we, no, no bueno. We, yeah, we no don't bueno. want to do this. So, um, and then sometimes people, they'll come into my office and they'll be like, well, this, you know, I got one of those upside down tractions. It was just horrible. And yeah. they've got a facet problem and it puts them too much in extension, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. now they've got to, they've got to tilt, tilt their pelvis a little bit. So you want them a little bit more inflection, right? And the yeah. nice thing I yeah. like about your unit is, you, you can put it a little higher on your on your hips mm-hmm. and you're going to mm-hmm. c- create more of an arch, more for a lumbar disc. And then you can put a little lower on the hips. It's going to tilt the pelvis. Now put the legs up and now we're opening the facets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then yeah, exactly. 
what you've done, which is, oh my gosh, why didn't I invent this? Uh, is genius. <laughs> is I love, I love that strap. You have this strap that allows you to pull. And oh. I did have one person that, that said, okay, I, I, I'd love a knob on the end of this or something like that. She was a little bit mm -hmm. older. Yeah, it's designed to go around your wrist because my traction units are very, very strong. So some mm -hmm. people may not ah, have the grip strength. Put it around the so wrist. They remove it and it goes to their hand and then they can pull it and then they can rest. And if they forget about it and they fall asleep, it's still on them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so thank you. So, so what, how did you come up with, cause you, you, I love the thing where you're like, use it for 21 days. If you don't like it, return it. Mm -hmm. Just to let everybody know, you're not going to grow your disc back in 21 days. You know, that takes. No, I uh, wish. An effort. I wish. And yeah, right I wish. Good. I wish. But yeah. you're going to, you can, you can decrease discs, uh, herniations, and you can, you can help yourself get hydrated and things like that. This is a long haul, you know, if you're, if you want to heal a disc. So, um, however, you, you say, what's your interval? You say pull and decrease the pressure and then increase the pull. At what mm -hmm. interval? What, what do you like and how'd you come up with it? So, so from all the studies I had, I, had, I had looked at, about the mean was anywhere from 18 to 22 days seemed to be about the most successful frequent, or I should say, number of treatments. And I, I, I basically put 21 days so it would force somebody to get in a habit because, you know, you create a habit in 21 days using it every single day for 21 days so you basically have the most intensive highest frequency highest consistency treatment protocol wherever you have a doorknob and you lay on the ground but but the success rates were between 18 and 22 treatments okay and and all the studies said that there needed to be at least anywhere from 30 seconds to 30 seconds to 60 second resting phase where you would you know, on my unit you pull on the release strap and that resting phase is allowing the disc to actually absorb the water in the matrix of those you know, prostaglandins where the water can settle in there and then you get back into traction again. So you're in, tra so you're in traction for how many seconds? Like how? Oh, well, you're in, you're in traction for about at least five minutes. So you're, 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 you're tractioning, you're pulling for about five minutes and then you rest for 30 to 60 seconds. OK, so you're, you're literally relieving or releasing the, the pull force by pulling my release strap like on, on the big tables, like, you know, the tables you probably have. There's that that logarithmic, you know, program that goes through where there's there's the resting phase and then it holds and then it rests just like right. that. I'm just allowing the user to do it themselves. And some people have found that they can mitigate pain, may, maybe doing a little bit more frequently. Or some just lay there in traction and they don't use the release strap at all, you know, which they're, they're, they may not be getting as, as successful of a decompression session, but, but they're, still, they're still finding relief and it's still helping them out. So every one of us has our own treatment protocols that seem to work the best for us as individuals, you know, and that's what's great about having something at home you can use no matter what it is. You can learn what's best for you and you create it and use it as a tool for the rest of your life. You're speaking my language. That's what I'm all about, right? Yeah. yeah. For the rest of your, if you need to the rest of your life, you just do it, right? Yeah. Um, but usually we go through, we go through um, healing phases, you know, which is yeah. great, you know, yeah. and then we get strong and we rise up, you know, it's like we stumble, we fall, we mm -hmm. get up again, you know, yeah. Yeah. and that's, that's where you, you look at that person in the eyes and you go, you're going to be well we're going to do this you yeah know? and that's our help. that's yeah. our moments that's the moments yeah. we get every day it's super exciting yeah. so um so the discs opening up the facets opening up the overall height increasing mm -hmm. and partnering with other therapies and how about how about do you think we you could use your unit um because you know i i love helping hips right um yeah. generation hips have you had anyone put it on a hip? So we're in the process of creating other devices Good. and there are other applications for my invention and we're, we're looking at that. So yes, hundred percent for sure, you know, distracting hips, <laughs> tractioning shoulders, 
there's other applications that, we can, that can be used for sure. I love yeah. it. Yeah. We'll yeah. have to talk about that. I've got some, yeah. Yeah. The, there's an angle on the hip I want to, I want to find that in, yeah. in, in a device. Awesome. That, Let's that, collaborate, bud. Yeah. That needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I, I, I just want to offer this. How can people find you? Well, they can find us on YouTube. I've got, you know, a pretty extensive, you know, video library of educational videos on, on chiropractic, on traction. Um, uh, I have, you know, because I teach, so I have videos for my students that come in and work in my clinic. It's on my Fisher Traction uh, uh, YouTube page and then Fisher Traction, www.fishertraction.com. And, you know, we're on Amazon also. And you know, I've been fortunate enough that we've had some great success and, and it's, it just makes me feel so good because, you know, this is like my baby. And I think my baby's perfect. And now I'm sending my baby out in the world and people, other people are going, oh, hey, your baby's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> fun. It's really fun. But, um, you know, we're, we're trying to reach out and help as many people as we can, get people off of opioids, get people off of pain medication, you know, get them back in life, get them back in the game of life. And, uh, you know, I, I heard this, you know, many, many years ago, and I, I, I steal the best, you know, sayings from other people. Uh, uh, you know, motion is life and life is motion. And, you know, if, if you're not moving, you're not moving, you know, correctly, you know, your life is limited. So the more people that we can help, you know, enhance their lives, so they can go on vacations and experience everything they can, man, that's what we're all about. Right. You know? so, it is. I, what I say is movement is lubricant. I came yeah, up with that I one. Like that. I'm going <laughs> to steal that one too. You got it. Okay. TM. Yeah, uh, TM. All right. All right. Jeff said, hey, why don't you offer people 10% off uh, just by saying, yeah. uh, put going to his website, doing DR Fields, Dr. Fields 10 um, get this thing. I think it's wonderful. I have taken traction and I know Jeff has people that literally are scheduled for surgery that have weakness in their arms, etc. Not, I'm not saying not to be connected to your chiropractor, to your physical therapist, to your medical doctor. You need to stay connected to them. Don't just say, Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this instead and not connect with them. But we've had a lot of people that were scheduled for surgery that no longer have to get it. And they're like, you have those people come in, they're like, I forget which hand the tingling was. Was it this one or that one? It's just been gone, you know, and they don't have to deal with it anymore. So um, they're doing, they're doing better. Um, It's been a pleasure having you. Um, I'm thrilled for you and uh, keep keep up the good work. Thank you, you. baby. All right. Chiropractic all the way. (laughs) <laughs> chiropractic all the way great traction great self-care as you all know i'm into taking care of you and i'm into you taking care of you thank you for joining health and care podcast check out our videos and keep helping yourself you are a treasure you are a gift treat yourself that way and we'll see you next time